Hey everybody, welcome back to Nikki's Nerd Feast. Nick Beckin here with Pick Dogs. Today is September 14, 2023, and on this show, all we care about is the first six outs of the ball game. A nerfy means no runs first inning, while a yurfy means yes runs first inning. But before I get into my free plays, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're looking for my top plays, my premium picks, head on over to PickDogs.com and check out the premium picks tab. That's where you'll find my lock of the day plays for $20. And best of all, all of our daily packages come with credit guarantee. You can read more about that on our website under any daily package we cappers have to offer. Now we're still rolling hot. Zach Gallon did not do it for us in yesterday's Nerfy. The New York Mets ended up scoring one run in that bottom half of the first inning. Um, a tough one to swallow, but... Hopefully we'll go 2-1 and one on yesterday's plays, and I feel real good about today's games. I'm looking for that sweep for you ladies and gentlemen. Let's roll right into this thing. Game number one, we got the Miami Marlins and the Milwaukee Brewers again. Right now for the Miami Marlins, Perez will be on the mound with a 5-4 and four record and a 2.9 ERA. He'll be matched up against the Milwaukee Brewers. Hauser with a 5-4 and four record and a 4.58 ERA. Hauser does have a little higher end of an ERA. Um, he's over that 5.4 um, mark. Um, I just think it's because he gets behind of hitters um, early on in ball games, um, but not as of late. He looked a lot sharper in his last outing. Again, this Milwaukee Brewers team is in first place in that NL Central. Um, these games absolutely matter to them, and it matters to this Miami Marlins ball club who's trying to make a spot in this tight NL wild card spot. Um, they got to start winning ball games, both of these teams. I mean, the Milwaukee Brewers have a little more of a cushion, but the Miami Marlins definitely. Um, I think Perez is going to come out, and he's going to come out ready to go. As you can see, his ERA, he's been locked in all year, getting ahead of hitters pretty early on in the ball game, and he puts batters away. Then you got Hauser, like I said, little concern. Um, granted that he does give up runs early on in ball games, but Hauser is pitching back at home. He does pitch better at home in um, at Miller Ballpark. Um, I'm expecting no runs to be scored in this first um, inning here. Um, granted, both of these offenses, they're going to come out, but I don't think they will scratch a run. That's why in game number one, between the Milwaukee or the Miami Marlins, I'm sorry, and the Milwaukee Brewers, we're smacking the nerfy. No runs first inning. So we're under second game between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies. Right now for the San Francisco Giants, Logan Webb will be on the mound with a 10-12 and 12 record and a 3.4 ERA. He'll be matched up against the Colorado Rockies, Anderson, with a 0-5 record with a 6.49 ERA. Um, plain and simple, Anderson has not been good whatsoever this year. Um, he's getting tossed back out there to start this game. Um, I do expect San Francisco to jump on Anderson. Um, he's just hasn't found it this year at all. Um, he's got a ERA above six, um, almost at a six-five right now. He's flirting with, um, but I will say something about this Colorado Rockies team. They just took two games um, from the Cubs, and they looked real good in yesterday's games. That is Wednesday, um, scoring seven runs against the Cubs, um, getting that win. This offense does have. Um, life in their bats, and this game is played in Colorado. Um, I'm leaning more towards this San Francisco Giants um, offense to get on Anderson in the top of the first, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Colorado Rockies uh, scratch one across against these Giants um, with Webb on the mound. That's why in game number two, between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies, we're going to smack the year feed. Yes, runs first inning. Let's roll into our third and final game. Between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets, going back to Queens, where the Mets play at home. Um, Kelly will be on the mound for the Arizona Diamondbacks with 11-6 and six record and a 3.16 ERA. He'll be matched up against the New York Mets, Singa, with a 10-7 and seven record and a 3.07 ERA. Both of these starting pitchers have very similar ERAs. Um, and you got to tip your cap to Kelly. Um, other than Gallon, him and Gallon have been leading this Arizona Diamondbacks pitching rotation all season. I don't expect anything else to change in tonight's ball, uh, matchup. I think Kelly will come out strong, work ahead of hitters, and then Singa will do the same exact thing, especially pitching at home. I don't believe any runs are coming across in the first six outs of this ball game. That's why in game number three, between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets, we're smacking the nerve. No runs, first inning. Let's take a recap of the games that I've selected. 
to game number one between the Marlins and the Brewers, Nerfy. Game number two between the Giants and the Rockies, Yerfy. Game number three between the Diamondbacks and the Mets, Nerfy. Once again, this is Nick Mekin with Pick Dogs. If you have not done so, smack that like button. It helps me out a ton, and it costs you none. And if you're looking for my premium picks, we got a hell of a weekend on store right now, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure to grab a long-term pass or a three-day pass. You don't want to miss out on this huge slate this weekend. The description, it is in the link is in the description below. Make sure to tap that, and I will see you guys tomorrow.